Do, do, do. Okay, so today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. We're gonna be doing a office tour of my stream room. This has been something that I've been wanting to do for a while. And we also attached it to a sub goal on my Twitch channel. So thank you everyone who contributed and helped us get to that sub goal. And so now we're doing it. I get to see exactly what my office looks like, where I work, where I spend my time, my domain, a sacred place. So should be fun. I'm excited to show it to you guys and uh, let's get into it. Okay, coming into the stream room, the, the reveal is here. This is what it looks like. This is my stream PC setup. It's something that's evolved for many years. A single PC setup with uh, my three monitors. Currently the three lights I have set up for this is uh, two of the Elgato uh, wireless ones covered with some simple white t-shirts to soften the light. And I have another soft light bouncing off of the, uh, up the wall behind me. We have the stream deck. We have the beacon and we have my audio interface in the middle, my camera, my calendar, top secret. It's got all kinds of top secret stuff on it. And there's my PC. It's nothing fancy. Okay, turning a, a 180 degrees. The best wall, the sword wall. Each of these, um, is hung up with some simple Ikea knobs that we uh, turned into some hangers by screwing in and uh, leveling it out. This on the top is just a training Type 14 sword. Underneath it, we have a Hanway Tinkerer right here. This one is pointy, but not sharp. Underneath that, we also have a uh, training Italian arming sword. Underneath this, this is a Purple Heart Armory uh, training longsword. And the very bottom, this one here, is just one that I actually got a long time ago. I bought it at a Renaissance Fair. So that is the full sword wall. Underneath it, we have some shelving and some totally not fake plants, by the way. These are totally real. Yes. Underneath it, we have some shelving with uh, just a variety of books. I have my wireless setup, it's kind of dusty. Um, but these are just some, each, each pocket has some different books from either my childhood. I think these are some of the original Harry Potter, Potter books that I probably bought the Scholastic Book Fair when I was, I don't know, maybe six years old, seven years old. And in between here, we have some random assorted books. We have some Warhammer books, some Star Wars books, some medieval art books, and I think probably some gardening books. Here we have my Star Wars BB-8. Very cool remote control. Underneath there, we just have a, a stack of Walking Dead graphic novels. This was to be determined. I'm not sure what I want to put in this one yet. Probably more books to be completely honest. So that is my shelving underneath the sword wall. Moving away from the sword wall, this is somewhat of a familiar corner because this is actually something that is on stream. So this is my display case, as well as some various art up in the corner. These are two posters that Monica got me and they are travel destination posters from NASA for traveling to different planets. Like what the travel poster would look like. They're pretty cool. So there's the Mars one. That's the Grand Tour. This is pretty cool. Every, every 175 years, the Grand Tour goes to every planet. Underneath them, also some more totally real plants. These are real. Wait. This is plastic. We got our plants and our display case. So this is also something that's in the background of my stream, but it's got a lot of stuff in it. Ta-da! There's a lot of stuff in here. 
some things that I've made, some things that I've bought, some things that I've been gifted. Each thing is just a little figurine with something that um, has some kind of memories tied to it. So we have some Gundams in the back that are from my childhood as well as some classic. Yeah, so this is a Kenner classic Star Wars figure, 1996 from my childhood that I luckily held on to and now it lives in my display case. We have some anime figures that I got from a trip to Japan as well as some Monster Hunter figures I got from uh, Japan. This was a 3D printed gift from Julian for who I played uh, Valheim with and this was the Valheim death tombstone things when your character died. This was a really cool gift. Here's a couple minis from some killers that we painted on stream, as well as a 3D print that we did ourselves. This is Isabel from Animal Crossing holding the shotgun. This is another one we painted and, or 3D printed and painted this on stream. That was a really fun one. Shiny Alakazam that we 3D printed and painted on stream. Uh, all the rest of these are various Warhammer 40k figures that I've painted. I didn't print these, but I painted these as well as some uh, Space Marines in the back, some Age of Sigmar. We have a Griff Hound painted like Finn, made it to look like a German Shepherd. Any of the pop figures were just gifted to me. So uh, moving down, more Star Wars stuff. This is a potato that Monica made and also a little mushroom. We have some more, some skellies, some more hammer skellies that I painted. Uh, and the back is a lot more of Star Wars figures. So this is one that I had as a child, as well as this one, both when I was super young. And then the ones up front are ones that I bought as an adult. So I have a plastic walking wind-up toy at, -AT that I had from a child. And this is a modern uh, figure that I bought like relatively recently, like within the last five years. Moving all the way down, this is definitely the least um, populated tier in the display case. So we have a lot more stuff to put in there. We have uh, an original Luke. We have a Majin Buu, four more Star Wars figures, these two in the front. This was a figure that I bought in Japan on a trip. An original Warhammer Online uh, Grumlock and Gaz bag that came with this was a Warhammer figure that came with the game Warhammer Online. Thought that was pretty cool, so I kept that. And some um, goblins, some uh, Warhammer figure goblins that I'm still working on. And we have a lot of space, so we have some more stuff to fill. That is pretty much the entire display case. Everything that's in there. Some tiers are more full than others. So that's uh, pretty much everything. Going from the display case to the left of it, we have our official stream plants. Okay, so here's some of the official stream plants. We got Dwight, the rubber plant. Pretty happy, he's gotten way, way, so I think when we first got this plant, it was probably here. It's probably at least doubled in size, so it's very, very happy. We have ZZ, our ZZ plant, Mozizi. Up here, we also have our two gnome guardians who watch over the plant. We have a little Star Wars cup with another plant in this one. And uh, just some storage and some of my work laptops underneath it. Okay, so moving away from the plants, we have my secret bookshelf that no one is seeing. This is a bookshelf that I made with my hands. I needed a bookshelf when we moved into this house and we had some wood and I had time and this is what we came up with. So I could have a bookshelf in my office. So it's very heavy. It's it's all made of real wood. Each level is basically just has some random things on it. It's not super organized. The top has a lot of more random books from my childhood or when I was younger. We have some random games in here. We have Command and Conquer, Guild Wars 2. We have this old PlayStation Yu-Gi-Oh game from when I was really young. Car books, some plant books. Uh, Monster Hunter, we have some more Warhammer. This is a ball from my childhood uh, pet growing up that I kept. Uh, some random Pokemon. Look at this. We got an old Pokemon official Nintendo's player guide. So before you could look things up on the internet, you bought this. Moving down from the top, we have some more Walking Dead um, graphic novels. We have a Magic the Gathering secret layer. We have my classic World of Warcraft, this is the, my very first 
World of Warcraft copy that I bought long, long, long time ago. A letter opener that I got as a gift. You know I keep this on me. Got the original Blastoise first edition Shadowless Clefairy. Yes, sir. Uh, my original Game Boy with uh, Pokemon Red in it. That's pretty old. You know, that's like, you know, that looks pretty grimy. You know, that's a true old Game Boy right there. Moving down and underneath it, we have some more random assortment cards, some more books, some Warhammer books, some old magic cards, and my two binders full of my classic Pokemon cards. So, And on the very bottom is some personal books and some uh, more cards. Okay, so stepping away from the secret bookshelf, Again, here is the stream setup. I pulled up my OBS on there so you can kind of see how it looks. Everyone wave. Hello. That's you. Here's my, okay, I'm gonna show you something now. Try, try not to judge it too harshly, okay? Underneath my desk, I have a sack of wires. The good thing is it's not on the floor. Okay, this allows me to keep the dog hair off of the floor as best as I can and keep the dust at a minimum. Now, does it look perfect? Does it look pretty? Not really. Recently, I added a uh, kind of a table, a side table for the PC to bring it off the ground. And pretty soon, we're gonna have this be able to rise and I'll be able to stand up once again. This is pretty much how my stream setup looks as of now. Okay, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the tour of my stream room, my home office. It's where I spend about 80% of my time. So hopefully you guys enjoyed checking it out. And I guess I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.